All right, oh dark, 6.30 in the morning is the best time to work on solar stuff, especially if you're working on solar panels, like rewiring and stuff, so you don't get shocked. Uh, to get you up to speed, yesterday the Midnight 250 came in and I installed it and got it talking with my local app. Got it all programmed up for 48 volts. And in follow me mode, this guy right here and it did a really good inspection and it looks good it looks really good on the inside um, the fans didn't have any crud on them the electronics look good this thing came right up so this will be on the south array and I'm gonna try to get pretty close to 250 volts in uh, and the reason why I like high voltage because this is way more efficient than trying to push low voltage through copper wire and make power that's why you have high trans high power transmission lines feeding all of our houses right all right in the meantime what i did is you know i have those outback power 300 volt dc breakers panama breakers coming in like these guys right here essentially this is a carling this is rated for 150 volts. Actually, it says 100, yeah, 150 volts. So when I wire up the solar panels for 300 or for 250 volts, this isn't safe at all. So they won't be in until Wednesday. So in the meantime, what I did is I said I'd spruce up some stuff in here and bypass the south one. See right there. So I got the, the feeder line here. This is basically a straight wire into the midnight. And at the same time, I labeled all these cables. So the pergola array is in the center. North array is here. You can see down here, but this says south right there. So these are landed safely. And cleaned up this box a little bit. I put a rubber from experience. You wanna protect it when you have a little wrench in here trying to get these nuts off um, I've, I've shocked myself right there so put a little bit of rubber would be really sexy to get an automotive cable end boot you know lug nut boot like you see on car batteries like a rubberized one that would be ideal so there you have it put the cover back on and go and work on solar panels wire them up for full power today all right thanks for watching and oh, well, there's my old 150. This thing is really not in good shape. It makes all kinds of rackety noise, buzzing, whining, especially in the morning. So I'll, I don't think this is a good player anymore. I may send it back to midnight and exchange it for a 250. See if they'll honor that. Because uh, I'm running high volts. I like running high volts. All right. Well, have a good Sunday. And I'll keep you updated with my progress with the solar panels this morning on Chris DIY or Facebook. See ya.